I think the two words that come to mind with this film is creative and beautiful. This is a very exciting film. I can't wait to talk about it. So let's jump into my review of the film, The Seven Faces of Jane. What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel today for another review and today we're going to be reviewing the film The Seven Faces of Jane which made its world premiere this year at Benton Film Film Festival Benton Field Film Festival 2022. Um, so yeah at Benton Film this was one of their big films that opened up on the opening night of this year's film festival and I was excited to check it out. First off before I even get into why this film is creative let's talk about the folks behind it from the directors jillian jacobs who i'm a huge fan of ken jong who is absolutely everyone's favorite person since day one of the hangover uh gia coppola and ryan heffington so names everybody is familiar with then when you start to look more into how this film is constructed then you really start to get wow so what happened with this is in the summer of 2021 Eight filmmakers were invited to create a segment, a section, or segment or section, of a feature-length film, but they had no clue what was before it or what would be after it. So this was sort of an experiment that allowed these filmmakers to be very creative and, 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 and use their own unique life experiences to bring together their part, their piece of the puzzle, their piece of pizza, all those sorts of different analogies that you want to use. So yes, the other big question would be, well, what about the continuity? Well, that is a something because it is a collection of, it's an anthology, so it is a collection of stories, but the continuity still works, surprisingly. Like every bit feels a little different, but the story with Jane just, it feels very much surreal, you know? And the continuity feels like this could actually be someone's life because it is prized from people's personal journeys and whatnot. So like, yeah, it, it just feels very authentic. And like, this experiment worked for me. And again, it was very creative, but yet beautiful. Number one, playing Jane is Jillian Jacobs, who just continues to just show her range of acting she's a phenomenal voice actor but when she's on the screen she's just I, this is just another step forward for me i've always been sold on her but this was definitely one because the way how she embraces these different stories of jane because what's in what's happening in this film is she drops off her daughter eight-year-old molly at summer camp she jumps in her beautiful blue Mercedes, uh, Mercedes Mustang hybrid truck and she hits the road. And then she hits a bunch of different, uh, uh, then there's a bunch of different stories. Stories, Goodbye, Hello, Jane Squared, Toyo, Guardian, The Lonesome Road, Rose, The One I Got Away, The Audition. So these are the different names of the different chapters within this film. And these are all very uniquely different stories. And I will say some are like very emotionally driven some is mind-bending a little bit of horror one my favorite i think the lonesome road is just I, I i it's hard to explain just the beauty of that one but that that story is kind of like back behind how to say goodbye to a friend knowing that they're on their last few days and that moment of like understanding grieving and and kind of reflecting back onto the good times like how it was shot and everything's just so beautiful um but yeah all of them are very much different but like the way how she portrays Jane in each of these different characters of Jane, shall I say, is so good, so good. Like James Square is like her facing another Jane, so it's a little bit action packed, a little, little mobbish. It feels like a little unorthodox, but it's still so amazing, you know. Um, and then learning that it took 15 days to film this. I mean, man. <laughs> That's that's just a day over two weeks. That's really putting in the work to get this done, you know? Uh, and, and I just think, like, just the surprising continuity is special. But just Jillian's performance from each chapter is just... 
it's again it's not that i never doubted that she could do something like this but seeing it was just like okay <laughs> okay truly just another step forward and uh what a tremendous career she's having and i think she's a phenomenal actor so like you know if you was ever on the fence about her i think this is one that you'd be like yeah yeah for sure and i loved her in, in the film the box that was one of my favorite films of that respective year um but it, it, you know i just think that Putting together a film like this, very unique, very different. And I also want to, you know, uh, give a shout out to like the additional cast members involved um, within these stories, uh, each playing a very uniquely different counterpart or co-actor to uh, Jane in those stories. I also got to give them their props because they also brought these stories to life as well, too. Um, so, like, overall, I just was wow at this film because it was just a really good experimental film that came together, fleshed together really well. Uh, and, and, and because it's, you know, it's a little bit, you know, unconventional to what you typically are seeing, I can see why people may not like it because the first thing you're going to say is, well, what's the point? You know, but obviously this is a this because anybody who has just a little bit of brains would know like, hey, these are a collection of short stories of what one's life may be on just any given regular day. She dropped off her daughter at summer camp and that means she has the summer to herself. So what does that mean? When she gets her daughter back at the end, her daughter's like, yeah, I swimmed every day. And she's kind of looks in the mirror herself like, well, if you only knew what I've been through, you know what I mean? Ran it, ran into a person that I thought that we probably could work, lost a friend, you know, got into a fight where I, potentially I may have may have got killed. All sorts of different things are happening here, you know? Um, and, and, and then the, the final one, the audition is just so mind bending and just gives you this like sinister sort of like horror atmosphere, like uh, atmospheric horror setting as well, too. That's like, oh, well, way to bring it home, you know, but overall, it, it was just a really good film. Like, um, I enjoyed this film. Um, I had definitely suspicion that I would, but like at the actually watching, I was just like, wow, yeah, that, that was different, but yeah, that was entertaining. So, you know, I'm, I'm not going to look at this film so much in a very strict manner to try to nitpick things I did not like, because there's a couple of things that I definitely could have said could have been better, but overall, just this, as I want to keep labeling it as an experimental film, something that could actually bomb and be completely terrible. No, this this was absolutely the opposite of that. This one worked, I think, you know, uh, Jillian, you know, both being a director and, you know, being a star uh, really uh, was part of the efforts in making sure that this went forward on the positive side. And, and again, I enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed this. And it was definitely parts of this film that i actually would love to see extended i i can even lobby that the one that got away i would love to know a little bit more about that world that they were kind of existing in and then obviously as i said the lonesome road which was just so beautiful um again it was about her um getting a call that a friend a long a long childhood friend of hers uh was about to die and she had to hurry up and get to the hospital to get her last words but instead she sort of just uh, reflected back on the moments that they had. And it was such a beautiful moment of just seeing them share these different scenes through their childhood, all while she was driving on the road, got out the car and kind of did her thing. But like, yeah, I would love to kind of see that one kind of fleshed out a little bit too, because I think like in terms of like identifying grieving and, 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 and battling grieving, I think they actually painted it in a beautiful way. So, you know, different parts of this, I would love to see a lot more of if possible. Like Jane Square would like to know who was actually the one that survived and where are they going next and whatnot. And yeah, so, you know, definitely creative ideas. Better yet, the best way to kind of describe this was like, this is a collection of short stories, except all the short stories had the same actor in it. Like, that's the best way to look at it. And, and if you've been to any film festival, you've seen compilations of like multiple short stories in like a hour uh, block you know what i mean this has happened to be one that was an hour and a half with all the same actors so and i'm not mad at that because jillian is amazing and as i said everybody involved i thought really made this happen so but yep check it out the seven faces of jane it made its world premiere at the 2022 bentonville film festival and once you do get a chance to check it out, once it becomes available, jump in the comments, folks. Let me know your thoughts about that film. And as always, stay tuned for more reviews very soon.